I'm going to show you how to manage Microsoft Office using Group Policy. So to start, the first thing we want to do is download the Microsoft Office ADMX files. And to do that, if we open up a web browser and search for Microsoft Office ADMX, we can then download the Microsoft Office ADMX template files. On the download page, we can just select download, select the x64 version, and then select download. This will then download our ADMX files. So if we open up our downloads folder, and then if we run the downloaded application, what this will do, this will then extract these files for us so we can agree to the license terms and then continue. And then we can just select where we want these to download. So I'll just select my downloads folder and then press OK. It will extract the files. And now we've got our ADMX files. We'll want to come into the folder called ADMX. And then in here, we've got all of our ADMX files for our various Microsoft Office applications. Now we've got our ADMX files, the next thing we want to do is open up Group Policy. So within Server Manager, we can come to Tools and then Group Policy Management. Within Group Policy Management, on the left-hand side, we can come to Group Policy Objects. We can then right-click Group Policy Objects and select New. And then give our Group Policy a name. I'm going to call this Microsoft Office Settings. And then select OK. So now we've got our new group policy. We can then right click and then come to edit. And then under computer configuration and then policies, we can select administrative templates. And then on the top, we can see where our administrative templates are stored. And in my case, we can see that they are retrieved from the central store. However, yours might be retrieved from the local computer. If we close our group policy editor, so if yours said retrieved from the local computer, what you want to do is open up File Explorer, come to the C drive and then Windows and then the policy definitions folder. And then you'll want to store the downloaded ADMX files into here. However, if like mine, you've got a central store set up, what you'll want to do is browse to your local Active Directory domain, and then come to the sysfile folder, then your domain, and then policies, and then policy definitions, and then we want to store our ADMX and our language files in here. So if I move that to the side, and then come back to our downloads folder. I want to select all of these ADMX files. So we'll just copy and then paste them into the policy definitions folder. What we'll also want to do is come to our language files. So in my case, ENUS, and then I'll select all of the language files as well. And then within the policy definitions folder, scroll to the very top and then open up the language folder and then paste the language files in here as well. So now we've imported our ADMX files and our ADML files into our Group Policy Editor. So we can just close our File Explorer. And then back in Group Policy, we can come to Microsoft Office Settings. We can then edit our GPO. And then if we come to either Computer Configuration or User Configuration, and then Policies, and then Administrative Templates, what we should see is we've got some more options here now for our various Microsoft Office applications. So we've got the global Microsoft Office settings, and then we've got settings specific to various Office applications, such as Outlook, PowerPoint, Word, Visio, Teams. So what we can do is we can just come through and configure any of these settings as we want. So for example, let's say we wanted to limit what Microsoft Teams accounts people can log into, and we can lock the down to a specific tenant. So if we select the Microsoft Teams folder, we can select the restrict sign into Teams to accounts and specific tenants options. We can then enable the setting and then enter our tenant ID. Obviously, this is just a random ID, but you get your Microsoft Teams tenant ID. So now we've configured this group policy how we want, so we can close the editor. Just to check those settings applied, we can come to settings and then show all, and then we should be able to see our configured options. And then all we need to do now is assign this group policy to either our users or computers, depending on the policy type that we set. This was a user configuration. So if I come to my company OU, we'll just drag our Microsoft Office settings over our users OU. And now once those group policies refresh, all of the users in there will have this policy applied and we'll be managing Microsoft Office using group policy. So that's how to manage Microsoft Office applications using group policy.